all the wet ingredients with it. The egg, milk, oil, and the vanilla. We're gonna whisk that up. And if you could pour it in the center or make the hole. Okay. All of it? All of it. Now I know some people fry their Oreos with pancake batter, but pancake batter is not really sweet. Whenever you have a funnel cake, or at least the funnel cakes that I have, that I eat or make, they always have a little bit of sweetness to them. Skyler, can you finish whisking this for me? They're good. Be careful not to spill anything. While my handy helper is whisking the funnel cake mixture, I'm going to heat the oil. I think that is good. So we have the basic funnel cake batter that we're going to use to fry everything. This is also the same recipe that I'll be using to make the red velvet funnel cake with the exception of a teaspoon of cocoa powder and red food. Okay guys, what do you think we should fry first? The strawberry shortcake roll, the Snickers, or an Oreo? Okay, so you want to fry the strawberry shortcake and then Skylar, what do you want to fry? An Oreo? Okay, so we're going to dip the strawberry shortcake roll into the batter. And then just dip it into foil. We'll see how it turns out. I think it's gonna turn out amazing. It did. I think maybe we should try frying one each. Yeah. Okay, so a Snicker too? Yeah, the Snickers too. You okay, Sun Sun? Oh, I okay. like Snickers. I like them too. This is the Oreo. This is the strawberry shortcake. Where's the Snickers? The Snickers is right here. Well, it is going to be melted on the inside. I wonder what this strawberry shortcake is going to taste like. Me too. Me too. 
I've had a fried Oreo before. Have you guys ever had one before? No. Is it good? Um, it was okay. It wasn't bad. I guess okay. we'll we'll try these here and then go to the fair and try those and see who's the best. So because the batter starting off seemed a little thin, I ended up double dipping the Snickers Oreo and the strawberry shortcake roll. Um, this time, it doesn't look like I'll have to do that. But, of course, if you want to double dip it, by all means, do it. Like double dipping, he does not mean lick your fingers. No, like, he does not mean like take it out and then lick it and then put it back in there. No. Well, this you should never done. ever do that. They do look kind of like egg rolls, but more so like um, spring rolls. Struggling, Madison? Yeah. Yes. I can't mm -hmm. see where the plastic is. What oh. smells so good? Can I smell it? Can I smell it? You don't wonder what they're going to taste like. Because all we'll do is put some powdered sugar on top of them. I can see part of it. Hi. Hi. So we finished frying everything that we're gonna fry up to this point. Now and we're adding powdered sugar. Yeah, we have some powdered sugar. Come on, Skylar. Okay, so just sprinkle it with some powdered sugar. Yes, ma'am. I think everyone likes sweet stuff. Okay, so which one do you guys want to try first? I want to try a Snickers. Okay, so this is a Snickers. It's kind of warm. Okay. okay. And we'll see what's better. I want the Oreo. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Good try. I'll try the strawberry shortcake one. Now you want some? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can try the orange. What do you guys think about what you had? I like it. I like it. You want some more? Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got over here. Get this, uh, this here Snickers. Yeah, let's stop. It's good. Here, I'll let you have that. Oh! Ah! No. Ha! <laughs> 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 This fried Oreo is really good. But I feel like this is the perfect combination of chocolate and really sweet stuff. Oh, okay. okay? I don't know, whatever the cream is, but it's really good. Hey, son, you want to try some of that? Hey, yeah, that's one. You want to try some of yours? Mmm. Mm. Now that we fried the Oreos and Snickers and the strawberry shortcake, I'm going to use the funnel cake batter to make some velvet funnel cake. Red velvet cake period is not really, it's not a chocolate cake because you only put a little bit of cocoa powder in. We'll add a little bit of 
cocoa. I'm gonna add some food coloring, red food coloring. Would it be a red funnel cake if you didn't add a red? That's right, it would. You want to mix it up again? Can we mix it up after this? Well, I think after she's finished, then it'll be done. So, this is probably enough to make either one really big funnel cake or a couple of small ones. So we're gonna fry this so that we'll have our red velvet funnel cake. We're gonna swirl it around like a spider's web. Eventually it will rise to the top. Look at that. Is it rising? Yes, it is. Yes, Mama. Yes, Oh. Well, you don't need a plate right now. You guys like funnel cakes? Yeah, I've had more. I do. We still have to make the icing yeah. go on top of it, too. Wait, it's going to be icing? Yeah. yeah. Yay! This yeah. one's an icing. Can I do it? Yeah. You stirred that. Um, what? Yeah. We'll see. Joy both. Are done. Now we're going to mix up the icing to go on top, just to drizzle across. So I have some cream cheese that I let sit out at room temperature so that it's easier to mix up. Can you get the milk out for me, Madison? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> this is an ounce of cream cheese that I put in here. Put some powdered sugar. A little bit of lemon juice. And the milk. To thin everything out. You can mix it up. Make sure it goes slow. Huh? You'll be able to help me drizzle it on. This in here because I think it'll be easier to mix it. So, here you can whisk it and we'll add some more powdered sugar, and then and then Skyly can whisk the rest of it. You don't taste the food coloring? Yeah. This almost tastes like chicken. What kind of chicken you eat? Popeyes. There you have it. We made red velvet funnel cake, fried Snickers, fried Oreos, and the fried strawberry shortcake. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification so that you know you'll know when we post all of our cool videos. As a parent, you always end up sharing. Say bye, guys. Bye, bye world.